Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Richie, and back for your third video blog of the day for Wednesday, February 25th, 2015, around 5.36 p.m. in Bellarmine, Massachusetts. Sun's going down. It was above freezing today. Topped out about 35 degrees. Got some melting done, but back to the deep freeze tonight and through the day on Friday. Some news to report. The Detroit Lions release Reggie Bush. The, the Dallas Mavericks suspended Rondo Raja for one game for a contract detrimental to the team. They could be serious disciplinary actions levied against Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim outfielder Josh Hamilton. And Netflix has announced it's going to have a rebooted I mean, cartoon of Inspector Gadget coming in March. And that's about it on that. My third video subject today is about the LRTA bus number 14. The LRTA bus number 14 goes from the Kennedy Center at Gallagher Terminal in Lowell all the way to Leahy Clinic via the Middlesex Turnpike in Bellica, Burlington, and Beffitt, Massachusetts, and the Burlington Mall. The LRTA bus 14 was, was created in 1999 because of a lot of customers wanting to go to the Burlington Mall from low area before they had to take bus 13, the Bellica bus, to um, Chestnut Street and Cambridge Street in Burlington to hop on the 350 bus to go to the Burlington Mall. And this one was pretty straightforward without getting a transfer to the bus 350 MBTA. Originally, this bus route started in downtown Lowell and it followed, it followed all the way like going to the Lowell Connector and then going on to Route 3 South and on, on to 129. But in 2005, the Kennedy Center was built and the route as it followed, it starts at the Kennedy Center in, uh, in Gallagher Terminal, goes out of the busway and onto YMCA Drive, which that turns into Hale Street, where the shops are for the RTA buses, and it turns right on Cam Cambridge Street in Lowell, which is a very small road, and then it goes to the end of it, and it turns left on Chelmsford Street, which is Route 110, and it goes down about a half mile, and it, to, it takes a left on Plain Street. There's a Walmart, Walgreens pharmacy shop there, and it goes down a little bit further down under the Lowell Connector, and they bear light on the Medical Brook Plaza, where it's a Target and a Marshalls and a Lincoln Tech and a Chuck E. Cheese. It kind of follows the same route as bus 16 that goes to Chelmsford Center and um, Walmart Mart in Chelmsford and falls dead and it comes out. It takes a right if it's going outbound. It takes a left if it's going inbound and it goes on to Plain Street right by Bob's Discount Furniture over by the Edison Cemetery and it goes, it turns into Carl Carlisle Street, and it goes over Route 495, and into Chelmsford, and then it falls Carlisle Street until it takes a bare right, that's Brooklyn Road, in Chelmsford, it falls that, it kind of zigzags, and it stops at the UPS facility in Chelmsford, where a lot of people get off, who work at UPS. There's a lot of um, passengers who ride the LRTA bus to go to work for the for the UPS, and they stop there every hour on the hour, and then it continues on, and it comes to Route 129 on the Bellica Chelmsford line, and it takes a left, and it goes down like Chelmsford Road and Bellica into Manning State Forest. It stops by John Lyons, continues on over the range with like past range with Road and it, there's a bus stop at the Holly Davidson place. Cal I mean High Octon Holly Davidson. Then they go take a right onto 3A. It's pat 
by the subway, across from Max 2, continues go, goes down, past um, Trevor Cole Road, there's um, a Dunkin' Donuts, it stop, stops at the Trevor Cole Plaza where Market Basket is, continues go to go down Boston Road, right by the E-Store, and then right by McDonald's and Bridge Street, then over to Concord River, and then it passes by Stelios and Brown's Corner, and also Garrison's and 7-Eleven, goes up the hill um, to Bellica Center, passes by the Pro Fitness Plus, passes through Town Hall, and Bellica Memorial High School, passes through River Street, and then it stops at the bus stop where the Mason's Hall is, right near the library, and you could get off there, and you could connect with bus 13 going outbound to Bellica Burlington. And it turns into Concord Road, continue down to Concord Road, go go zigzag, it stops by Campbell Road, you could get off there, and there's a short walk to Lampson Field, and the Boys and Girls Club of Great Bellica. And then continues on, and it takes a left on to Middlesex Turnpike, but there's some rush hour buses if it's going towards um to like Federal Street and Palazzo Company and a couple of other companies. They do a couple of them outbound the more early morning hours and uh, later buses that are coming t towards the Kennedy Center use that route outbound and inbound and they continue on going to like on Middlesex Turnpike and Bell Echo, going up the hill and stuff, and then, then when they go downhill, they pass by the Turnpike Market. Then on the left hand side, it's going to be a new restaurant, MVPs, which used to be um, um, Mickey Sports Pub, and it goes past uh, Nightingale's Lake, McCosey Beast area. Then it goes over where the old Irish American Club used to be, and then over Manning Road, and then there's the subway, and goes down, crosses Lexington Road, there's the 99s, and also where I used to work at Hot Hanks, and it continues down, and goes into Burlington, there's pass through Burlington Woods, some people could connect there, and take th bus 351, if they're going to Our Wife, and it goes by Oak Park and stuff, and it continues up down to Plank Street, and Crosby Drive, a couple of buses during the morning hours and the late afternoon hours use Crosby Drive to drop off passengers or pick up them at the businesses. Continue down Millsex Turnpike at the Stoffless Glen Hotel. Max and Dylan's on the left and continues down Millsex Turnpike. Usually sometimes they go, go like continue on and then they take a left. That's Route 62, and it takes down a little further down, and they take a right, which is the Middlesex Turnpike Connection extension, and they continue on, and then go, they rejoin the Middlesex Turnpike, and right by the Lemon Tree Restaurant, and then they go down, they stop by at the 3rd Avenue Plaza, and it continues down uh, the road, and they take a left, that's Mall Road, and they could go a little short distance, and then they enter the Burlington Mall. At one time, they used to drop off passengers where Legal Seafood used to be, but the, the, the management of Legal Seafood complained that it was just, they didn't like that. And then they stopped the passengers at Macy's where they could pick up bus 350. And they turn around and go back out Mall Road, and they go up. And they, and they terminate at Leahy Clinic. This bus is one of the most popular buses for the RRTA bus 14. It runs from 6 a.m. in the morning to 8 p.m. at night. There's about, I, I, there's about like 13 inbound trips and 13 outbound trips during the day. Real, pop, real popular. On the weekends, this bus is running from 8, p. 8 a.m. To 5 p 6 p.m. and there's so many and there's about like 10 trips in bound and outbound and and it costs you 150 if you if you're going from Lowell to Burlington and if you're traveling in within the communities of Lowell, Chelmsford, Berwick, um, Bedford, and Burlington, it's only going to cost you a dollar 
And this is a nice bus ride. I've taken this bus many times to go into Lowell and go into Burlington or if I'm if I want to go to the 99s or the old Mickey Sports Pub. Yeah, I like this bus route. But it's, these bus routes are pretty good to have in in Lowell and stuff like that in Burlington and Bellica and Chelmsford because there's a lot of people in that area who don't drive or don't own cars and it's just a convenient way to get to the malls if they're working or maybe go out to a restaurant and stuff or whatever and it's pretty good and I love doing these series about bus trips and train trips and stuff like that I'm having more variety on this stuff so it's informational and I hope you're enjoying these Facebook friends YouTube followers daily motion Twitter the fourth and final video blog of the night is going to be about former Major League Baseball closer Lee Smith. And have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, Twitter. See you tonight. And get out, as Sean Lucci would say. Or want to put a wager on that, Richie, as Bruce Cronin would say. See you later.